Prajem, Marja, a gane kuk jo dis zgombro in krosta di pomodoro, which is a macro on the urban tomato crust. I made the tomato crust this morning because it's just, just going to get to taste a bit better. No? I didn't make, make that. Well, I just got some sun-dried tomato. Mm -hmm. I put them on a the food processor. Then I added some garlic, herbs, and then some breadcrumbs and a bit of oil, salt and pepper. And just turn it over like that. That's it. Very, very simple. Uh, all this, my, my idea is that, you know, if you make it, then when you squeeze it between fingers, then it goes like that, then it's good enough if it stays together. You will see. Also, Mario, this morning, what did I do? I made this really nice little salsa with uh, a little bit of the capers and the onions, which I cooked them off very, very, very gently. And now I got some of the fresh tomato, yeah. right, which I'm going to put in inside there. And these we're going to serve in there. So it's going to be, you know. All right, so I'm taking the fish down now. got the sauce, we've got a little bit of rocket salad that we're going to serve with that with some salt, pepper and a bit of my vinaigrette. So we take the fillets, we put them into the bread. On the side of the meat it, it really sticks well, side of the skin a little bit less. Okay. But what I feel is then when you cook something like that and you give him right the time to cook, gently, 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 you know, all the fat of the fish will come out and the crust becomes more and more and more crispy and it's, it's fantastic, isn't it, when it's really like nice. I mean, it's one of those fishes that if you eat it a bit overcooked, it's lovely, isn't it? As you can see, we haven't put no salt, no pepper, nothing. That's it. Everything is already into the bread. I got this slightly warm. Oh, a touch of oil. It's hot, but not too hot. I will put the skin down first and we let it cook real, real gentle. That's fantastic. I can go back in the fridge and you can have it there for tomorrow, for next week, whenever you want. And Giorgio, how long does it keep cooking this? How long does it take to cook? Yeah. It's about, I would say, six or seven minutes, I guess. Ten minutes maximum. You can do exactly the same thing with the whole fish. And you put it in, in, in the bread the same, and you put a bit of bread in the, yeah. in the empty, and then you do it on a big chunk, really, you know, when you do it in the summer. Just lift it up gently, all the time. If it's cooked properly, it'll detach completely, without any problem. Lovely. Lovely, Mario. That's the kind of food we like, don't we? Real food for real people. Great macro dish and I hope it tastes as good as it looks.